Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now, today's video is about a product that has become, in my book, a must have for a number of reasons. This particular product is one that I use on all of my blades to keep them in proper maintain order, to prevent rust, keep them clean, and help them to withstand adverse conditions. The product that I'm talking about is Frog Lube. Now, Frog Lube is a bio-based food grade product that is a degreasing solvent and lubricant all in one combination. The particular Frog Lube that I have here is a paste and this is in a small four fluid ounce container. I've had this for quite a long time now. I've used this for approximately three years and I'll show you how much is left in here. So definitely a product that once you get it will last you a long time and to put this into perspective I use this on over a hundred different blades and I use it almost on a daily basis. Now this product was originally made for firearms but I found that it's a really great product to use on blades. If you see here this is a USDA certified bio-based product. So the key about this and why I like this for use on my blades is that I always use my blades for cooking and eating and different tasks where I know I'm going to get some of this most likely in my system. And so to have something that's food grade and bio-based is definitely important. Now removing the cover, you'll see inside that I have just about half of this four fluid ounce container worth of product left. It's a light green color. It's greasy and oily to the touch. And you can see here that it leaves a little bit of a sheen as I rub it on my fingers. And it has a very pleasant, almost spearmint-like smell. So um, in terms of the actual product, you know, like I said, it's a little bit greasy, kind of like a Vaseline sort of consistency, and it definitely has a really nice fresh scent. Now, as I mentioned, I do use frog lube on all my blades and all of my outdoor wilderness tools. I use it to maintain them in proper working condition. I'll apply the frog lube to all the metal parts, sometimes the handles. I'll use it on carbon blades. I'll use it on stainless steel. It doesn't matter necessarily in my mind what I put it on because I know the product, I know how it reacts, I know what it does for my blades, and I pretty much know how to manage it. And I'll show you some examples of that right now. Now taking a quick look at my SE Hungless, if you look close, you'll see there's fingerprints all over that. Well, that's because when I store my blades, I store them in a heavy coat of this frog lube. I don't want any moisture to make it to the blades while they're in storage. Now you will see a little bit of a patina on there that's completely independent of my storage. I added that patina specifically because I wanted it. I like to strip the coatings on my carbon blades and I've done that in this particular case. So in order for me to protect the blade at this point, I added the patina and I also coat the blade heavily in frog lube in order to store the blade. Now the other nice part about the frog lube is it helps protect the blade while you're using it. This will pick up some particulates as you're working with wood or different things like that, but at the same time it's very easy to clean off, easy to maintain, and actually the frog lube itself acts as a cleaner. So a lot of times when I'm done with my blades or even in the middle of use, I'll clean the blade off with a good coat of frog lube to keep it in good proper working order. So basically the way I've chosen to manage my frog lube is with a real simple method. I have this rag that this is literally the first rag I've started with. It's an old pair of flannel boxer shorts that I cut into a nice rag. This is literally the first and only rag I've used for three years on every single one of my blades. And pretty much what I do is I just get a nice coat of grease right on this rag and I'll apply it simply to all my blades. And I'll put it really nice and thick and heavy to get started. Get a good real quality coat all the way up the blade. Work it right onto the edge, being real careful not to run my finger down it, down the spine. 
flip it over, work it onto this side of the blade, really get a good quality coat all the way down. Now this already has some on it, so I'm going to skip a little bit just for the process moving it forward. But at the very end, after I get a good quality coat, I pretty much just smooth it out using this rag. All the excess stays right on here, so I'm not losing any more product than I need to. And I pretty much just run it off. And that keeps my blade in perfect order for maintenance, for storage, and just to clean it up when I'm done working. And then simply to make sure that this rag doesn't get onto any of my other gear that I don't want to get covered in this stuff, I pretty much just fold it up into a little square. And then I have an old beat up dry sack. It's actually missing the Velcro, but I just pretty much take it in there, stuff it in, work it down to the bottom. And even if I want to, I can also include my container. So take that and stuff this in and just add that to my kit and bring it with me. Now again, this is really a perfect product for almost all types of steel. And again, so the Hungalus is a 1095 high carbon steel. This little BHK Woodsman Pro is an 01 tool steel. And so it's just a great product for keeping that nice and clean. Sometimes what I'll do too, and I don't know, you guys may agree or disagree, but sometimes I'll even coat my handle. Now you'd think, oh, well, doesn't that make it all slippery? Yeah, well, you know, I'll show you what I do. I get some on there. It actually gets a nice, rich, deep color out of your handle scales. Really brings some of that detail out. And you know, you might notice that at different times, my Carta or G10 does tend to look a little bit on the dry side. It gets a little faded looking. So to really get some nice, bright color back into your handles is pretty cool. And so after I get a good coat of the grease on there, what I'll actually do is take a nice clean microfiber and just sit there and work on the handle for a minute, rub off all the real heavy excess grease. Just enough of it sits into that handle to keep that good quality polished look. But at the same time, it's not greasy, it's not slippery, and it actually feels pretty nice, smooth, but comfortable in your hand. Now again, as I mentioned, this frog lube does change the color of your handle scales. And you may decide you like it or you may decide you don't. So it's just something worth noting. But let's just say, for example, I have this Becker BK16 with aftermarket micarta handle scales. You'll see if I take this knife, if you get a quick look at the color there, they're a light tan color. If I get the handles in here and really just start working this stuff around, working it into all these little crevices, getting it all deep inside that micarta, even without me going too crazy here, you'll see right away that that really has darkened up quite a bit. And you can see the difference between some of the light spots and the dark spots. And again, you can decide whether or not you like that. Um, me, particularly, I do kind of like to bring out some of the detail in these handle scales. I think it's a different way to really get the detail that goes into these, make them sort of pop, gives them a little bit of a luster, and just a good, clean quality look. So again, what I'll do, just rub as much of it evenly into these scales as I can, trying to be careful working around the blade, get it into all the little edges and creases up tight against that spine until I think I get a good quality coating. It only takes a second. And then just as I did on the other one, take my clean, dry microfiber and just really wipe off all the excess, smoothing that finish out. And there you go. Now, just the same as my knives, I'll use this stuff on my axes and hatchets. It's really important to protect these before you go out. You know, I found myself a few weeks back carrying my hatchet. I had it in a really tough situation, at least for the carbon steel. I had it out in a really snowy and sleeting, heavy, uh, uh, turned to rain, just like a really wet situation. But the good news was I had a good heavy coat of grease. I preemptively coated this before we went out to protect it. And when I got home, I just made sure I really got 
all the water off of this. I dried out the sheath, got another quality coat of this stuff on the blade, and it never even picked up any rust. So, I mean, even though this thing was used heavily and worked really hard in basically sleet, snow, and rain, I had absolutely no problem at all and no buildup of rust. Now, just for the example, I also had this silky Gomtaro out with me. And unfortunately, I did not think to coat this prior to going out. And if you look closely, there is just a fine spot of rust starting to form all the way down this blade. And you can see it on there. And so I've since coated the blade in the grease. I really wish I had thought to do this prior to going out there. But that just shows you an example of if you're not maintaining your blades and you're not careful, getting them good and protected, it can potentially rust. And obviously that can affect the quality. I mean, in this, it's probably not realistically going to hurt it. But you know what? I try to maintain my stuff to the best of my ability. And when I end up with rust on a blade or on a tool, kind of bums me out just a little bit. So moving forward, I'll try to be more careful, keep this thing good and coated so that I don't pick up any of that surface rust. Now, even on my pocket knives, you'll see here I was using my blade to sharpen a pencil. So there's all these pencil marks on there. I was using it to cut open boxes. I got all that gunk and build up on the tip of my knife. And so this thing has gone through the paces today. I mean, I've used this blade a ton today and this is pretty much how it looks after a day's use for me. Now I clean up my blades every single day. Like I said, I use this frog lube on literally every single one of my blades. And that even includes all of my folders. So, at this point, I'll try to clean this thing up a little bit. Just start working it real careful, getting it up into the middle of this blade. Now there's a couple things. You can go straight to the frog lube if you want, or you may find that you're best to just take it to a little bit of soap and water first to get the heavy stuff off. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to show you how this frog lube really works as a quality cleaner and helps you get your blades back to quality maintained shape. And the other thing too is before I go to sharpen any of my blades, I'll actually take this frog lube to this, clean up the edge really nice so that I have a good clean edge before I start sharpening. And so just in a second's time here, trying to clean that thing up, I'll just finish rubbing this on. And again, in the same sort of way, take my microfiber and just wipe off the excess. And when you look at it now, ba-bam. I mean, it's not perfect, but what a difference. And finally, even a blade that's a stainless steel. This is my Spyderco Forager. And, you know, I'll still use this stuff on a stainless blade. I just like to keep my blades in quality condition. I like to keep moisture off of them. And I also like to protect them before I go and use my blades out in the wood, just so they clean up a little bit nicer. You know, if I protect them off the get-go, less stuff's going to stick to them, less sap is going to stick to them, and it just makes keeping my blades in perfect maintained condition that much easier on the long haul. So taking a couple minutes up front before you go out into the woods is definitely a plus. And then when you get back, just a quick cleanup, and it's really no big deal. So I'll just get a nice, clean, even coat up over this entire blade, just kind of smooth it out, working it into all the little crevices, just smooth it out, get this thing ready to go. And even if you want, just a quick little touch up, take the heavy stuff off, and you end up with a nice little film right on that blade. Now there are other products that Frog Lube makes that are in a different type of container. I personally have really enjoyed having this little four ounce can. It's worked great for me. I like the paste. I like how you apply it. It doesn't make too much of a mess. I mean, you can see at this point I have it on my hands, but you know what? It actually rubs in kind of nice, moisturizes your hands just a tiny little bit. It doesn't bother me. And I'll typically clean up my hands when I can so that I don't get grease on things that I don't want it to, like different fabrics or my backpacks or things like that. So I do try to be mindful of it. But at the same time, if you're out in the field and you do get this stuff on your hands, really you can pretty much just work it in. And by the end of it, it doesn't really bother me. It's not too greasy. It actually just kind of moisturizes a little bit. So all right, guys, there you have it. Frog Lube, a product that for me is a must-have. I will always use this stuff. 
it was originated for use on firearms, but it works equally good, if not maybe even better for blades. So I highly suggest it, and definitely, definitely check it out. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.